Hearing loss is on the rise and it doesn't show signs of slowing down. Typically considered a disability affecting older populations, children are struggling with hearing loss and the majority of those kids are experiencing it because of preventable causes. Madison Allworth dug into why hearing loss is on the rise, what is being done to combat it, and how you can protect yourself and your child. 466 million people worldwide have disabling hearing loss and 34 million of those people are children. What's worse, the World Health Organization estimates that 60% of those children are experiencing hearing loss due to preventable causes. What's preventable uh, is infections, uh, noise exposure you know, to children. Uh. In general, kids should not be exposed to sounds above 80 decibels. A normal conversation is around 60 decibels. I recorded on a decibel meter that there were, there's like an, around 100 decibels were peak uh, noise levels at the monster truck. And, uh, you know, according to OSHA, if you're exposed to that level for more than 15 minutes to a half hour, you're already starting to get hearing loss from just the noise exposure. Another part of the problem is how we listen to music. We can have headphones or earbuds plugged directly into our ears at all times. We know that earbuds can generate damaging noise levels and those noise levels cause more damage the longer that you use them so that it's all cumulative. Apple is currently conducting a study to understand how headphone audio levels relate to current and future hearing health. That information will likely have an impact on product development, but it's slated to take at least two years. The bottom line is, is there's Frequently, there's no substitute for medical evaluation. If there's a concern from the parent, the best thing is probably get another person's eyes on it, you know, so another professional uh, to take a look. You can monitor your child's audio levels if they have an iPhone with a health app. There are also apps that you can install that can read decibels for when you're at a concert or at some loud event. And there are headphones that don't go above a certain decibel level. We have all this information in this story at WTSP.com.